welcome back. This is Mandy. Thanks for joining. Sorry about the messy background. Just did a painting. And this one's going to be kind of a special request. And I'm a little all over the place about where the colors are coming from. So I know that we're going to do this 12 inch cradle blue ground. And I know we're going to use a white background. And we're going to use a mix of pigments and boom gel. Um, we're going to use primarily kind of purplish, violet shades, blues, teals, um, aqua type stuff. I can't get my pillow paint open and some gold. So give me a second to get this pillow paint open. Oops. That was like an act of Congress to get the pillow paint open. The jar was stuck. Okay, so the pillow paint I'm using is Colorplace Bright White Satin from Walmart. I really like this as a pillow. I'm a major Glidden girl, but I really like this as a pillow. I'm going to tell you the colors as I go because I'm not sure which colors are going to make the cut. So, pardon me being a wee bit disorganized. I think that's enough pillow paint. <clears throat> so, like I said, sorry for the mess in the background. I'm not going to waste a puppy pad. If I already have the stuff out, I'm just going to use it. Um, and my press and seal stuff really needs to be changed so you might see it flinging around on the bottom of the spinner if I do it right now I have all this black paint on my spinner so I really need to wait until after this painting so we're gonna start off with <clears throat> Molly Ringneck Blue Boom Gel we're gonna be using pretty much all color art and boom gels today yeah pretty much except for one or two tube paints. So don't forget about your promotional codes listed in the description box below. You can save 20% off of anything on Color Arts website using Mandy1120 and 15% off anything on Pixel Paint Designs website using Mandy15. Uh, so you, on Pixel Paint Designs you can get Boom Gel, you can get Australian Floetrol, some other paint, really good stuff. And of course, color art, everything color art, you can get these cute little paddles. This is Aurora. This is from the Bling It Last Wing set. You can get the swiping tool we're gonna use today. You can get the brand new Bling It set. So, so much, so much to do, so much to save on. So Aurora is um, an interference red in a, and kind of a black pearl base. Super beautiful. I love it so much. In fact, I don't know why I'm putting it on so sparingly. So, there we go. Get serious, you know. And I only put the boom gel there in the middle because it's kind of the bottom layer and it's probably going to get covered up by other things when we swipe off. Let's see. Um, I'm going to do some Payne's Gray from Color Art. This one's a little, was a little thick, so I put a little Josonia and water in it. I can see my additional ring light is running out of battery, so hopefully we have good lighting here. I have one clipped to my phone in addition to the one that I have on the table. Okay, so this is a little thick. I really probably should have thinned it out a little bit better, but it's okay. First swipe, you can live on the edge a little bit. So I tried to use some colors in a similar color family. Um, so I have made a set of coasters before using <clears throat> like some red violet type colors, some purple, some teal, maybe some deep blues. Um, so we're kind of using similar shades here. Uh, but also maybe adding some stuff. So this is a custom color I made recently. It has 
uh, Indigo from Color Art, Chow Sydney, and Boysenberry. So I'm going to put this next to this color. The reason why I sometimes put them next to each other is they're going to blend a little bit, but that gives us a better chance that all the colors will show at least a little bit. So it's a beautiful color mix. And we're going to put our color off to the side. I have a little bit of Chrysocolla left. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and use it. Chrysocolla is a prism pour color, and it's a beautiful color. So we're going to put that on the other side of this. I have a feeling I have too much color ambition out on this because I love teals and like aqua greens. And so then I want to put every possible color combination in here, which is probably just not reasonable, you know. Like I got Nebula Star out, which is like a really deep color. And I was like, you know, we're only going to be able to see so much in this pour. So probably going to have to dial it back a little bit. So I'm going to finish off this Chrysocolla because I have just a little bit left in this little pod and it is a beautiful color. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sparkling prism pour color. And I'm making a giant mess. So now we can put this to the side, this little scoop to the side. Put this little guy in the trash. And I have Oasis as well, which is part of the new Bling It line. It's a beautiful color. I think what we're going to do is put that one over here. And I am just making a mess. I wasn't too worried about this part over here. I am a little worried about how much of this I'm spilling way over here. That will probably tip off. So I'm not going to obsess over it right now. Tough, quit that. My dog's over there licking his toes, naturally. While well, we're trying to do this. All right, so now we're going to add Baronia Burgundy Boom Gel, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. I'm going to add it right in the middle. I'll probably bring back Payne's Gray in a second. Um, this color that we're going to add over here is Indian Spice, and it is one of the Bling It colors. It's a beautiful gold. I'm going to add it right in, oh my gosh, in between these two colors is a kind of a thin line. And then I'm going to add it in another place too, over here probably. Because we want accents of gold, but I don't want it to completely take over, and it won't. It's a very, oh, I just got green in it green gold but we're also going to add solar flare from the ancient treasure set toward the top so I don't want to get too lost in here okay so I'm going to put this one over here in case it comes back now we're going to do Australian red violet from Matisse. I'm going to put that one kind of down the center of this Chrysocolla. And I'm going to use kind of some thin lines of it. This is probably one of my favorite paint colors. And we may bring that one back for another debut shortly. I'm, I'm thinking it'll play really nicely with this Baronia Burgundy. All right, now Parrotfish Green is another Boom Gel color. We're gonna put on the other side of this Oasis color. 
or on top of it apparently. One of my favorite boom gel colors. I would say Baronia Burgundy, Mally Ringneck Blue, and Parrotfish Green. And now most recently Mana Crab Blue are probably in the top picks for me. Okay. Now next to that, I'm gonna put this blend of Greek Isles and Laguna Azul. It's actually a very similar shade. It's just gonna add a little sparkle. And it's a little bit deeper than Chrysocolla, so it's like a deep, dark turquoise teal versus kind of a lighter green. And then um, I have this teal zircon color that I've had mixed up for a while and it really needs to be used. So I'm going to add that one over here and then we're going to have to probably balance out all the greenish colors a little bit. All right. Now add a little bit more Payne's Gray. Kind of right next to that guy. Pop a bubble on the way. I'm gonna add some more gold. My Payne's Gray is very thick. I thought I got it down, but apparently not. This color is still showing, so we're probably okay there. We'll add a little more gold to this side. Actually, we'll just add some of this gold right here. It's no longer a little, it's a lot. It's okay. And I have paint splattered everywhere. Look at this. One, two, Now I'm going to be a little less subtle with this one, put it right next to this guy right here. Now we're getting a little wide, so we need to calm down. I'm just using entirely too much color and I know it, but it's not stopping me. <clears throat> the last thing I'm going to add two more things. I'm going to add a little bit of Milky Way, which is this gorgeous color from the Ancient Treasure set. I have paint all over my fingers, you guys. Gorgeous, gorgeous color. And it's probably just going to add some sparkle. I'm going to add it kind of down the middle. And I'm going to use a little bit of the Solar Flare color, also from the same set. Ancient Treasures, and I'm gonna I'm just gonna kind of sprinkle it. It's one of those that you'll never be sorry that you added, you know. It's okay, Chloe. My dog's having a dream. It's okay, Chloe. And I don't know if I have enough contrast in here with all these blues. We definitely have a lot of paint, so um, I, I kind of hope that we do. We have some burgundy right in the middle, so here's hoping. I have this red violet right here, so let's pop a couple bubbles. We're going to load up our swipe tool with a blue-black cell activator, my current favorite. And I have so much paint on me that I'm almost afraid to come anywhere near this thing. From this previous, I don't know how I'm managing to get like paint freckles on here, but it's happening. Okay, so this is my swipe tool. It's from Color Art. So we're gonna load it up in the back with the blue black cell activator. Trying to move all of my paints out of the way so the the cell activator is atelier blue black and i have probably just enough to do this swipe i hope 
This is why on my most recent one I used a different color because I wanted to make sure I had enough for this one. We're gonna swipe. <laughs> I got too wide with my paint, so now we got to get a little bit more creative with our swiping. I knew I was gonna do that. It's okay. I think I can make it work. Now I'm just cleaning my swipe tool. We'll go on the other side. I hope this is going to produce the desired result. It's been so long since I made a set of coasters that I was kind of basing this off of. And I have no video, which is another reason it's good to have video. Because you can see what colors you use. Um, but we're going to hope that this works. Okay, I'm just loading my palette tool. I would show you. Right now, I am such a mess and covered in paint that I'm quite sure I would destroy any chance we have of making this a good painting. So, okay, just making sure I have enough cell activator on here because I was so spread thin with it that I was trying to make it work. Okay. I hope this is still recording because last time my phone went off in the middle of the thing and turned it off. I was mad. Okay. Here we go. Okay into my swipe tool so I can put it away before it gets all grungy and then we'll find ways to make this work in the middle. I think that one I used a little bit more cell activator on but the color combos are kind of working for me so let me just get things out of the way real quick. I would pause you but I have so much paint on my hands that I just really cannot right now. off of my hands so that I can mess with this. I think we'll use a skewer that doesn't have black paint all over it to pop bubbles and all that jazz. I have so much paint on my hands. Okay, so we have some bubbles to pop, but some of this is going to fly off. So you know me, one of the first things I do is connect this so it doesn't look so weird. Um, I'm okay with that being a little wispy. My dogs are getting restless because it's almost their dinner time. So the colors I wanted to be dominant are, which is good, and I wanted the gold to show and it does and it didn't completely take over which is also good. That I want to wreck anything yet. I'm still looking. I really like what's happening in the middle. I don't love what's happening right here, but that's going to spin off. So I think if I were to wreck it, the parts that I would want to wreck are way off the center, and I'm not super confident in my ability to do that yet. Oops, I just got red in that pillow cell. I thought I had gotten it off of there. Actually, I think there's red underneath there. Okay, let's give it a baby spin. I love the color, like love it. I 
cell activators right here in the way, in the line of fire. You guys should see where I wipe my palette knife off. There's some really cool cells there. Um, I love the movement in this. This I'm a little sketchy on, so. Let's see if we can't move some of this down this direction. Open it up a little bit, huh? I love what's happening in the middle. I don't mind if some of that stays on there, but let's also kind of open up the center. My thing is real slippery because it has a whole lot of paint on it, so I'm trying to hold on to it very carefully. movement in that. Um, I don't like how that has like a mountain peak on it so I'm trying to, <laughs> I can fix that I think. It will probably spin off to be honest with you. I just kind of want to keep some of the wavy lines. Okay. All right, my hands are super covered in paint again. But let me, before we spin this again, let me see if I can't make this do something a little bit more intentional than what it's doing now. I think most of it I can get to spin off, but Just want it to not look so crazy and this is going to open up a little bit so i kind of want to help it all right again controlled spinning oh crap i hope crap does not offend you guys but my this <laughs> my press and seal needs to be changed really bad and it just splashed paint somewhere and I need to figure out where and see if I need to cry or not. I don't think it's crazy, but I need to be more conscientious of that when I'm spinning. Because it happened when I stopped it. I definitely need to change it after this. Okay. Let's open the center up a little bit. I love the colors and I love the movement. I just want to open it up a little bit. There's a lot of paint under there. And I, I really don't mind the edge now, so. And I think opening it up a little bit will encourage these cloudy looking cells to show off a little bit more. And I dig those. I gotta stop touching that. It's a little scary every time. And see, now that weird hunchback part where the teal is doesn't bother me so much because it feels like it's more balanced now because this is spread out a little bit better. What do you guys think? I like it. I like it a lot. Under resin, it will really look delicious. Not delicious like you want to eat it, because that would be weird. But I love the pop of red violet. I love the pop of that custom color. The gold in it is beautiful. I was going to use a more yellow gold, but I knew that this would be softer. And in the places where the gold met that green, I knew it would create almost like a teal green gold, which I think is cool. I need to get a little bit more paint off. Not a lot, just a little. And then I'm covered in paint. I wish I could show you. So then I need to clean up my hands before I come down for a close up. 
The only thing I'm going to do off camera is where we have these cloudy cells where they're starting to go straight. I'm just going to connect them a little bit and give them a couple little arches. That's all I'm going to do off camera and then I'll bring you down for a close up. I really like it. I like the movement in it. I will become more adventurous and stop doing all the stuff with the lines straight across, but right now I'm enjoying them. And so, yeah, I'm going to probably keep doing them a little bit. It took me so long to get one that I liked, but now I, <laughs> I don't want to just like reinvent the wheel all the time. You know, sometimes you need to win. I've been trying to work on this technique for a collaboration that I have coming up and I thought I finally had it down yesterday and twice it was a disaster. So today I just needed a win. You know what I mean? So let me clean up and I'll bring you down for a close up. All right, here we are for a super messy close up. And I really think I like the way it came out. I hope that I hope it is what we had in mind. Let's say I love these little cloudy cells. I love the pop of red violet. I love the gold. I love how there's different shades of teal turquoise in there. Um, the sparkle is insane. That solar flare is insane sparkly. I love it so much. And under resin you'll be able to see some of these details even more. See that bluish violet custom color? That color is so beautiful and under resin you'll be able to see all those details. And we have some peacock cells where you have multiple colors in the cells and I just super love it so let me know what you think in the comments um, if you're new I would love it if you would like to subscribe and join us our Facebook group link is below don't forget about the coupon codes in the description box I love you guys and I appreciate all of your support and thank you again for watching bye